guys, we're here in central Montana. It's the last day that I get to hunt, and we've been hunting pretty much all morning uh, trying to find a uh, buck. And we finally did find one. He's no monster, but in this area, mule deer does aren't legal, um, and we do have a buck tag. So we're going to go try and put some meat in the freezer. I need some more sausage and salami meat for the year. We're almost uh, a little bit too low on that. So we're going to go up here. There's, I don't know, about 17 or 18 deer. Um, and this little three point that's bedded up here uh, at the base of these cliffs. So we'll see if we can move in for a shot and, and see how it goes. It's uh, pretty nice weather. It was windy earlier, but it's starting to let up. So when we get up there, we should have pretty good conditions uh, and uh, see what we can get for yardage. This is the knob we were originally going to be on. We decided we're not sure we can even see them from here the way they are around the hill. So we're going to cross the drainage. It'll shave off another 100 yards or so, but we're going to end up on that flat spot up there. We should have enough elevation to where we can see across the canyon and uh, pick that buck out. Uh, hopefully he's still there and we'll try and get a shot on him. Get a range? 711. I'm gonna shoot for 710. Okay. He's got his head down. You know which one he is, right? What's that? You know which one he is? Okay, yeah. Are you on him? Recording? Yeah. You ready? Just about. He's got his head down, rub it in the bush. Are you ready? Yeah. Heart shot. He kicked like a heart shot. And him running, right? That's him running. There, he just tumbled. Yep. Yeah, he's done. Must have been a double lung. Okay, guys, well, we, we got up to the deer. Kind of a little bit of a poke up here. It was shot was 711 yards. Dialed for 710. Had the wind coming from 
around four to five o'clock at about nine miles an hour. Uh, I think I miscalculated, but you know, and there's the canyon, the wind swirl a little bit. We hit probably maybe two clicks uh, farther to the right than we had expected, so I probably could have used it a couple more clicks of wind, but uh, still made a good double lung hit uh, right in the chest. Can't ask for much better than that. Uh, kind of surprised he went as far as he did. We're shooting a 338, um, but uh, he was mortally hit and had a nice quick clean kill. I uh, thought he was a three point when we took off after him, but he ended up being a little five point, uh, which is, that's fine. He's meat for the freezer. Um, but again, used the little buddy for the shot there and uh, uh, had a pretty good, nice afternoon. Uh, we've been hiking pretty hard. We've got a little ways to go to get him out. Uh, we're probably going to quarter him up and carry him out of here all in one trip if we can. So um, again, 710 yards, 711 yards, dialed for 710. Uh, had a little bit of an uphill shot, uh, 9 degrees, uh, calculated for all that, and uh, turned out perfect. Couldn't ask for much better. Um, and uh, now it's time to go see if I can get a cow elk. Thanks, guys.